Hey guys, Flyverlinks here. Today I thought that I would do a quick makeup video before I end up packing up and going to college tomorrow. Move-in day is just right around the corner and I only have a few things left to get ready, but I'm thinking about doing sort of a life update video after I get there, just talking about how things have been going lately. I also work this entire weekend that I'm moving in, but it's all closing shifts which I'm used to. I just hope that I will be able to wake up early for classes. That'll probably be my main struggle. But anyway, the other day in my Hot Topic Finds video, I showed this Zodiac palette, and I thought that today I would test it out, review it, kind of see how it works. It includes 25 color eyeshadow and highlighter palettes. So I'm very excited to test this out. I think that astrology is kind of interesting. I myself am a Leo and I am dating a Virgo. Um, according to astrology, we're not supposed to be compatible, but <laughs> I mean, obviously, real life works out a little bit differently, but I still think it's kind of cool to read the different things, see how similar people actually are to their astrology signs and so on. But anyway, First of all, I just want to start off by saying how incredible this packaging is. I love how shiny and like rainbow glittery the words are. I think it's really cool that they put so much effort even into just this design with all of the zodiac symbols and everything. It just looks really, really nice and I can appreciate that. So opening it up here. It includes this mirror which is very shiny, rainbow, and reflective. And then the bottom is also super shiny. Like, I adore this packaging. I could just stare at this all day, the way it glimmers. And the makeup just shines as well. And we have all these different colors that are the different astrology signs. So when I was looking at this, I was dying over all of these colors. I thought that they were just gorgeous. But of course... I had to see what color represented the Leo and judge whether that was up to my tastes or not. And I ended up with this cute little pink color. Pink is my favorite color, so I strongly approve. I absolutely love it. But if I had to say a color that I thought was the prettiest in the whole palette, then I feel like Libra and Scorpio are colors that immediately capture my attention. I think that Sagittarius and Aries are also very beautiful, but I am always very nervous to incorporate blues into my makeup looks properly, so I'll have to play with them and see. And then of course there are all of these middle colors going around the ring, and I believe this is the highlighter in the center. So as per usual in my makeup videos, I absolutely have to test out all of these different colors. There's also a layer of plastic to protect the mirror, and we can take that off. It's actually really nice. I like that. I brought my mirror up here totally forgetting that this one had one. If I just set this up, then this will work lovely. Alright, and I grabbed a couple different brushes here, because I wasn't sure which one I should use. I think I'm just going to go with this one because I feel like it'll be easiest for me to manipulate right now. And I'm going to try to start from the top and wrap around. I think I'll start with Capricorn and then go counterclockwise around. So obviously first up, as I just said, we are going to tap into Capricorn and do our swatches here. And we have a very glimmery gray Capricorn color. I kind of like it. I also like the fact that it doesn't seem like it's very hard to apply for the most part. I don't have to do a ton of packing unless I really want it to stand out. And it just looks really good. I, I'm i already seeing that this is probably going to be a pretty good purchase. So of course we're going to tap into Sagittarius next. And bam! That is a gorgeous blue color. I will, of course, also be posting pictures on my Instagram so much better than that so that you can really get a look at it with the flash photography 
of my phone camera. They're so shiny. They are just absolutely gorgeous. The Sagittarius color is beautiful. So then following Sagittarius, we're going to dip into Scorpio, which is a nice bold looking color, and I'm hoping that it'll be just as beautiful on my arm. Every swatch is just making me fall more and more in love. Scorpio has a very bold, I would say like a pinkish red sort of color here. It's so pretty. Or maybe like a rose gold kind of thing. It's just so gorgeous. This palette is really impressive. I just swipe and then there's this bold, glittery, beautiful color on my arm. I'm, I'm just really impressed already. And I'm super excited to tap into Libra now. Libra is absolutely stunning. This is incredible. This whole palette is so gorgeous. I'm just in awe right now. This, this is going to be so fun for me to play with and create looks with. Alright, next up we are diving into my boyfriend's zodiac color, which is Virgo. Alright, that's very beautiful as well. It's a very soft pink color, and I like to use a lot of soft pinks in my makeup looks, to be honest, so I feel like I can use this one really well, and I love it. Next up, we are going to dive into my zodiac color, which is Leo, and oh. If this doesn't come out just as gorgeous as the rest, I'm going to be sad. So I'm already trying to imagine a makeup look in my head, and I feel like Leo and Virgo would be really good colors to use together, and if I wanted to make the look more bold, I could go into Libra even a little bit too, or something like Pisces and Scorpio as I'm looking around here. Obviously, after I do my swatches, I am going to try to do a complete look, and I love the Leo color. All of these are so stunning and beautiful, and I can't believe it. So next up is Cancer. Forgive me for going in the total reverse order of the actual months here, but I was just so excited to dip into the right half of this palette that I had to start backwards. <laughs> okay, Cancer is super gorgeous too. Oh my gosh. It's like, it's like bluish pink and it's so pretty. All of these are so sparkly, I can't even believe it how they get this. Glittery eyeshadow is probably by far my favorite and I'm just completely in love with this palette already. So next up is my sister's zodiac, which is Gemini. So we have a beautiful whitish gray color here. I'm really digging it. I feel like it would be a good color for me to use in my eyebrow area. I always like to add like whitish colors up there and I feel like, at least for me personally, it just seems to make everything else pop more and I love that effect. So I feel like it'll be really great for that. Next up we have Taurus. Alright, I guess I thought that Taurus would be a little bit creamier and it's a lot, it's a little bit lighter than I thought it would be. It's kind of like a little bit darker than my skin mixed with glitter. So that color is all right. It's the only one I'm really critiquing here so far. Then we have Aries. I'm so excited for this color. These blue colors just come out so gorgeous on these. It's and I always end up slanting my arm, and then it makes it so much harder to show it off, but I really, really love that. Alright, we're getting towards the end of this palette, and I'm so sad. We have two colors left, so I'm dipping into Pisces. At least, this will be the end of the main colors, and then we get into the matte colors, of course. Oof. The main selling point of this palette to me, besides that cute little gimmick of Zodiacs, were all of these glittery shadows, and I really like this one. This one is really bold too. All of these colors, they're just so amazing, 
I can't wait to use these on my face. All we have left here is the final color, Aquarius. Alright, this color is more beautiful and golden than I expected. I really, really like that one. It makes me feel like I'm just like King Midas. The gold touch here. Okay, so that's it for the glittery shadows. So next up, I guess I'll do it on my other arm here. <laughs> Despite the bracelet, I'll just work around that. I am going to go into our beautiful middle colors and see what the matte has to offer us. For the matte ones, I'm going to try to dip in with a different brush here until I have time to clean. And so I'm going to start like I did before and go in the reverse month order, starting with Capricorn and ending with Aquarius, what's underneath each of them. Alright, so here's the first color. Um, I don't really use a lot of like these brownish looking colors. It's not like the prettiest in my opinion here. And I always feel like I have to pack on mattes more than glittery colors. So I just prefer glittery colors because it's more me and more out there anyway, but... Eh. Alright. Let's see what the one underneath Sagittarius has to offer me here. Alright, that is a prettier color, a nice orange. I like that one a lot better. And then next we have the one underneath Scorpio. Alright, it's kind of a darker color than the one on top. It looks, it kind of reminds me almost like a dried blood. That sounds a little morbid, but I do kind of like this color. Next is the one under Libra. Alright, that's sort of a darker color. I feel like that's just not my thing in general, but it's okay. I'm more excited for the more vibrant colors coming up. So then we go into the one that's underneath Virgo. Alright. It's a very nice soft pink, and that is more of the type of thing that I would use. I think that it's pretty, and I like that one. So then we have the one underneath of Leo. Ooh, purple is my second favorite color, actually, so I'm really digging the purples that I'm seeing so far here. This one is really pretty, and I would love to make use of that. So then, we're going to dive into the one underneath of Cancer. Alright, that one is super bold and pretty. I am totally in love with that one. That one definitely gets a passing grade from me. Then we are going to dip into the one beneath Gemini. Alright, it's a softer pink than the one over top, and I also very much like this one. So then, is the one under Taurus. Alright, a bit of a darker purple there, and I definitely like that one too. I'm more likely to use kind of the softer or more vibrant shades, but I do like this one as well. Next up is, ooh, a darker looking color under Aries. Alright, so we've got a blackish color here. I don't use blacks a ton unless I really want to make some sort of bold or emo looking kind of statement. But I do like that. It applies pretty well, so that's good. Then we get into a brown color under Pisces. I feel like this turned out a little bit different than I was expecting. I don't know how to describe it exactly. It's kind of brownish, but it has like maybe, I don't know, some brighter undertones that I didn't expect that kind of make it into a more unique color than what I thought it would be, so that's really good. And finally, we have the color underneath of Aquarius to end it off before we try the highlighter and do a look. Alright, and here we go. That is a really cute kind of peachy color, and I love it overall. Now I have my arms completely just covered in makeup, and all of these colors really are stunning. I am a big fan of how they turn out just on the arm which makes me super excited to put on the eyes. And so finally, I will test out this highlighter, and then we'll beat my face. So let's get into it. I'm going to use the final brush that I grabbed to test out the highlighter and apply it here. I'm afraid that I might have put too much on because everything else has applied pretty decently. 
and I dipped this a couple times, so I hope it's not too much. So I'm going to use the mirror that's right in the palette here, and I'm going to try to apply some of the highlighter. Ooh! You see that? Oh my goodness. This is... This is better than I was expecting. Dang! You can see my skin glowing. Wow. Okay. Alright. So that... That's actually incredible. And then I can spread it out more with my finger there. It's just so pretty. You can actually kind of see it on camera for once. Usually I have a hard time trying to show any of that, but you can definitely see my skin glowing in that general area. So, I guess I'll apply to the other side now. I am so shook right now. That's actually incredible. I love it. I kind of want to put a little on my nose here. Dang. And that, like, instantly makes it shimmer as well. I feel like it's almost too much, like you've got to be careful not to apply too much, that's cool. I've never had such a decent highlighter before. Okay, so basically positive marks all around for this palette so far. I'm going to have to take some good care of this. Anyway, I guess the step here is to completely make over my face. So, I'm going to see what colors I want to dive into here, and we'll see what I can create. I don't know if anybody else goes through my struggle here, but as soon as I finish my makeup, I always critique it really hard and wonder if it's good enough or, like, what I wanted. And I really tried my best here, but I always feel like it doesn't look right until it has everything else completed. So, so far, this is what I have going on. In my corners here, I decided to use Aquarius, my main color in, like, this corner of the eye area towards the middle is Scorpio. And then I decided to use Virgo underneath of the eyes. <laughs> I have Leo in my crease, Gemini on top, and then for the other half of my eyelid here, I used Pisces, and so that's kind of what I got. It's this strange amalgamation, and I feel like maybe it's a little bit too bright right now, but I'm sure it'll powder off a little bit, and I'm going to complete the look with eyeliner, eyelashes if I can find them and all of that jazz to try to make this look complete. So, we'll see here. Alright, and here is the final look. I feel like, especially in the light, when you can see it a little better, super intense in the light, I feel like. Looking in the mirror, I'm just totally shook by its appearance. I put on my eyeliner, fake lashes, and some red lipstick to try to make it all stand out and I really love it. The highlighter is just so on point I can't even believe it and I feel really awesome. So I think that overall it turned out pretty well and I'm satisfied with it. I just wish I knew more things that I could do with my hair to make that go with it as well but I'll probably just keep it down today honestly. So that is it for the Zodiac palette. Overall, I definitely do like it. It definitely gets a passing rating. I would recommend it to any people who like the more glittery colors out there, such as me. <laughs> and I'm still just amazed by how well it worked. I really, really do like it. So that is going to be it for this video. Please be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content, and I would love to see you in another video. Bye!